Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to you. another episode of City Skyline Sunset Harbor DLC. And we are here back in lovely Franklinville. As you can tell, we are making a ton of money. We have almost $700,000. We have major, major residential need and we do have a lot of a lot of industry that needs employees. So for today, we're doing a couple things. Today, we're gonna build the public transportation system in our town. We're gonna start that today. So we're gonna build a bus, we're gonna build bus lines. Um, I think that will be an excellent start. So um, the first thing I wanted to do though is I forgot to do one major thing. As I mentioned in previous, previous episodes that you know, industry starts on fire. You know, there's a lot of fires and stuff like that. I'm gonna put a fire depot. Uh, I'm gonna put a, or, well, it's called a firehouse. I'm gonna put a firehouse right there. And kind of, so we can kind of help our, our ore industry out if we have any fires. So that actually fits perfectly within over here and our fences and it works out really well. Now, I understand I'm gonna have abandoned buildings. I need more employees, which Obviously, that is what's the goal for today's video. So, in order to create a bus line, we do need what's called a bus depot. It costs $30,000. What it does is actually gonna create the buses that we can use for the bus lines. So, I'm gonna put that right here. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, right there works fine. I'm gonna put that right there. So, now that we have the bus depot, we can uh, make a little, we can click on that a little bit. Uh, we right now technically have zero buses in use. Want to know why? Well, guess what? We don't have any bus lines. So in order to get the bus lines, you're gonna click on transport. You're gonna go all the way to the right and you're gonna, and if you see here, there's a little dot. That's how you create a new line. So what we're actually gonna do is I think we're gonna create a suburb. We're gonna create two suburbs lines and uh, let's see. And I think I'm actually going to build a bus. Whoa, that thing's a little bigger than I thought. I'm going to build a bus depot right here. Oh, that might be a little... I don't know if I like that spot, to be honest with you guys. Um... Well, our traffic is okay, but we don't want to kill our traffic. Oh, does that fit without killing anything? Alright, we're going to build a centralized bus station so this $65,000 bus station you can connect all your bus lines to this and kind of create like a hub so I will show you exactly what we have to do so we have our little hub and it's kind of in the middle of our town it's not really in our city center but it's kind of in the middle I mean the technically the middle is this highway over here but it's sort of in the middle so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating bus lines so we're gonna go back to our bus lines and we're gonna create a circuit. So we do want to start over here. So we're gonna click on the at the bus station. That will be our stop number one. Then we will we're just gonna have this these bus stops be in the in this neighborhood. So it's not too long of a bus route and that it won't create too much traffic. And it won't, you know, people will People all around will be very happy. So if you you know if you live in the middle over here, you can they can still walk to these bus lines, not a problem. Uh, we'll put a bus line right in front of the school, and then we'll we'll f complete the loop. So we have one completed bus loop, which that is really good. Um, I'm actually gonna I think I'm gonna add a bus line right there actually. All right, so we have a bus so we have a really good bus line for our neighborhood to the right over here. Now we're gonna go to the left. We're gonna kind of keep the same idea. Just keep it on the perimeter. You don't need to go, you know, it's not like we're in elementary school and we are, you know, like, you know how kids get picked up every single stop going down your neighborhood and you're like, why can't these kids just stop at a bus stop and in one central place? Anyways, that would make too much sense, but, um, I'm not going to complain. I'm just, I, I don't have any kids, so I wouldn't necessarily know. But um, all I'm saying is I wish that they had one centralized stop. Anyways, so we're going to loop it back over here. And boom, we have that one figured out. Now we have one more neighborhood. And again, don't mind the um, 
factories that are abandoned and they need workers, as you can look at the bottom right of your screen, we need more residential and that will definitely fix it. So we're gonna create our third line and our third line is gonna kind of go towards our city center and whatever is over here. Um, I do know obviously we have commercial and then I guess I will have to dig in a little bit to our I'll go I'll go through these neighborhoods. I mean, I know I just gave a whole speech about it, but the problem is is the bus route is so far away that I, I don't want our people to struggle. And I, and also when we're building bus lines, make sure you get in to the to the industrial areas um, so people can actually take the bus to work. I know that's such an easy concept to say, but so, um, you know, in six minutes, I did get through all the bus routes, but as you can tell, the bus depot is launching out all of our buses for our for our city. Now, uh, we will have to actually, if you hold down the Y button right away, get rid of these abandoned buildings. Again, we will fill those in about two seconds. It'll be no problem. If you hold down the Y button and go to transportation routes. Now, sometimes you don't need like all these vehicles, for example. Um, you know, just for the time being, I'm going to lower some of these so we don't, you know, we all of our buses are not going to be filled. And so I'm just going to, instead of having all these empty buses, like if you can tell, if you can look at the bottom, um, we do have people lining up, but nothing too crazy yet bus wise. Um, maybe, maybe 75% actually. You can tell a couple of those stops at the bottom. One has 42 people, one has 48 so we might need to amp that up. I should have just let the bus, I should have let the buses started moving and get, you know, getting into the groove of their routes beforehand, but well, sports monkey didn't do that. So what we need to do is well, we need, I need an incinerator bad, by the way, uh, just to let you know. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are expanding to cross the river for our residential demand. We do have a slight commercial demand, but our, <laughs> our, our residential demand is super high and I don't want that. I want straight. I want to go straight out of here. So I'm going to build a bridge right across the way. Um, I'm not too worried about ferries right now. Um, I haven't really thought about it. I think we're a little too, we're, we're a little too early to think about ferries. Plus if the ferry would go back and forth, um, it's in the way. What's this that I can't go over? Can't. What, what's the problem? What's the problem? Already occupied. Okay. Okay, City Skylines. This, we're going to delete this and this. Okay. I don't know why it was doing that. Land is already occupied? That is so weird. There's nothing literally occupying it. So, oh, because of the curve. Oh, I got it. Got it. Well, well, we'll go over there. Sorry, City Skylines. I thought I was mad at you, but I understand why you were not working. Okay, so what we're going to do is to add to our residential demand. We, I think we're actually going to make a third bridge over here. So we have three ways to get on this, like, I mean, it's not really an island, but <laughs> three ways to cross the river. So what we're going to do is, I, I don't have another tile, oop, wrong button. I don't have another tile I can buy right now, so I legitimately have to go with what I've got. So we're going to kind of create a triangle out of this. There's that. Or should we round it? Let's round it. We're going to, we'll round it up. There you go. And while I'm doing this fun road creation, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. You guys have been more than fantastic with all my new videos. Adding detail, who would, guys, who would have ever guessed adding more details to cities gets you more views. I mean, from a YouTuber point of view, that would make a lot of sense. Okay, so, we have, I know this is a little different, but you know what? I chose to make these a little bit different, these neighborhoods, so we don't have the same thing. And so 
this should look pretty interesting. Um, nope, I need to move up one. There you go. So we're gonna fill this in nicely, and I will build a bus route like um, I just did for the rest of the city, but let's get this done first. There's this, perfect. There we go. So we have a little neighborhood like that, which will look pretty cool. And I'm gonna assume that education, I'm gonna need to do something with education soon. All right, we'll have, we'll have actually we'll have this, right? We'll do this. And then we're gonna curve the road. Then we'll have roads coming off of this. Just kind of make it look different. And um, like I already mentioned to you before, um, we're kind of stuck land. We're kind of landlocked over here. So that's why I'm kind of building it like this. Um, so we're kind of stuck. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, what is the first thing our city, our little town over here is going to need is water. So we're going to bring the water line over the water. Yeah, we're going to bring the water pipes over here and we're going to water the whole, we're going to provide, we're going to water. Yeah, just like their plants. We're going to water, we're going to provide water to all of the residents over here, or I should say future residents, because guess what? There's no residents on this little, in this little town. And we have, you know what the nice part is, is when you're actually adding details to your city, um you know it it you you actually make a lot more money because guess what you're taking your time you're going through everything and you know you're just kind of you know you're not you're taking your time and not you're not rushing so like over here I, i'm gonna add a couple paths so we have people that can go from their neighborhoods to the commercial district which works awesome all the time because like I did that towards um, in our town over here and it's worked out really nicely. We've had no traffic issues yet, which is very awesome. That air high five to myself. I'm, yes, I know that was kind of a loser nerdy thing to do, but you know what? I love myself. It's all right. I will survive. I will survive. Oh, and it didn't. I, I was hoping it would connect over there. Let's hope it does over there. No? Okay, well, they'll take the path anyways. Not a huge deal. There we go. All right, perfect. And we can put like a little park over here. Mm, we Oh, we have yet to build a real park. Oh, ooh, well, we can get to that. <laughs> we'll do that when I have a place <laughs> like a uh, little town I can expand that actually has space to build a park right now No, bueno, and I'm gonna add a couple of these tennis courts and basketball courts um, Add a couple of these fountains also we're gonna need to add education also that's something that we need to I'm I'm pretty much guaranteeing that we need right now let's just see I did guarantee it. No, we're okay. Okay, we do need a high school. That's all right. So let's do the same thing we've been doing for all high schools is we're just going to pop it out one tiny bit. Go over there a tiny bit. Nope. Go straight. There you go. Now, I do like the community schools. Um, that's something that you have to figure out yourself, but I do like the look of these community schools. A little bit better than there's that so like this this school looks a lot better than than the normal schools so that's just my opinion if you don't agree with it I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry yeah I'm I'm sorry I'm sorry because I'm the one building the map <laughs> I'm just kidding um but uh I think I am gonna put yep can I fit one of these oh no can I fit it right there no, if I move this over though, I can. I can fit both. That, that's actually a good spot. You know, go across the street to go to your sports for your school. That is awesome. I will gladly do that. I mean, I wouldn't want to go too far for my, my sporting events. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so, so far this looks excellent. And I'm gonna still, I'm gonna add a path right down the middle here. 
Oh, I can't do that. I thought there's room. There's a... Nope, I guess not. Apparently, there's not a path. So where is my nature reserve fence? Park fence. There's a nature reserve fence. There it is. This fence, I think, looks the best. That's just my opinion. In the comment section below, let me know what you think. And I actually can't add trees, but that's okay. I'm just going to add trees over here. Around around there it is oh they do have trees in back so that'll blend in nicely so that will work out really well i'm trying not to rush this and so what we're also going to you know what where's our where's our trusty fence forestry fence i should probably remember where this stupid fence is oh my god okay we'll use the park fence it doesn't matter As I kill the path. Oh my god. Thank you, City Skylines, for letting me kill my path. There we go. Perfect. Now I do need to rebuild that path, but give me one second. So we do have a nice fence around our school, which is pretty cool. Actually, let's just fence over here, too. All right, how many trees do you think I'm gonna kill? Oh, none. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm a little shocked by that. All right, so we have our school completely fenced in. We are gonna add a few more trees to that. And we're just adding to it because, you know what? We're gonna make it look nice. That's what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen, to make our cities look nice. And everybody in the comment section actually has been fantastic about me actually adding all the detailing. Um, you know, I, I feel like I've been getting air high fives from everybody. If I don't know if that makes sense, but I it, I just feel the love. If that makes sense. So then we'll put our path along here. There you go. Perfect. And then that will work out fine. But isn't that pretty cool though? Now the fence we did put around the original path, but guess what? The path was destroyed by city skylines. Anyways, let's hurry this up a little bit. We are, I I can almost guarantee you we need a medical clinic. Oh, wow, we're, we're actually okay. Um, but um, I still wanna put that medical clinic. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it, I'm gonna put it, since they do create a lot of traffic, I know this is gonna look stupid, but they create so, they don't, okay, I guess I shouldn't say they create traffic, but they they stop traffic so much by going in and out of the clinic that I kind of want to do this. So I know that looks funky, but like I did in my t city center for the other town, I did that, and so it's only a stop sign, and this way we can do this, which... All the traffic will stop over there and not on our streets. So that works out really stupidly well. And that works out well. So let's see, do we need any? Oh, we need, wow, we need more police. Ooh, that is, what is our police guy doing over here? It's, wait, our police station's right there and it's red. Um, City Skylines are, oh, that's fire. Oh. All right, so our policing, our policing, yeah, I don't know, that doesn't sound right. Our police station is doing their job pretty well. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing I did over here with the police station. I know, I know you guys might harass me about it, but you know what? It's so much better. Oh shoot, that almost messed up. It's so much better to to not have that traffic on the main road. Like that is my personal opinion. If you don't believe, share that same opinion, you don't have to do anything. But, um, all right, I'm going to put that there. Now, um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to start filling in commercial. Now, the, the thing about this whole thing, this whole, like, adding all of this, the problem we're going to have is that we don't have a terrible amount of commercial demand. So filling all this in at once, it, it's, it might not work out really well. All right, so let's put, all right, we're gonna add some residential over here. 
So what I mean by that is you can tell that our residential demand is very high. It's, it's literally maxed out. Like you can't have any more residential demand than we actually have, which is great. But the problem is, is the commercial that we want to fill in isn't there yet. I mean, it's not even close. So we're going to just build this for the, the future. And once it fills in, it fills in. But residential wise, we, I'm going all out basically. Like I want to fill in as much as possible. Um, that that's probably not going to be enough, but let's just fill in this little square too. Now what we're also going to need is electric power. We're going to need power to get across the river. All right, let's not put that there. Sorry, we're taking our time. We're taking our time. All right, so we can fill in the commercial on the water in two seconds. But I just want to fill in this last little... I'm going to leave this last little bit. I'm filling this in. And just hoping that everything fills in nicely. And everybody will be happy. So I'm going to place a little commercial there. <laughs> I said a little commercial. And what do I do? I put a whole row of it. Okay, we're stopping there. Alright, our, we're going to need to let City Skylines fill in a little bit. <laughs> Oh, I just went against everything I just said. Oh, that's hilarious. So I'm gonna move this over here, but we need to, okay, wait a second. I'm gonna connect power like this. So eventually all these power lines, besides the ones crossing the river, will be destroyed. So that's okay. And then what can we do? I'm gonna actually add another park. Um, what the parks do oftentimes is they extend the the power uh, the electric grid so what i mean by that is see how it's connected there but i'm i don't want another park there because i have two parks right there all right so we have that all right now how can we connect these i know the simple answer is just put it across the street i know no do not connect Perfect. Okay, so everything should have power. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start it. Now we're going to create a bus line around here. And then we'll connect it to the hub. So this way, that hub will be an excellent central location. If people want to get to different parts of the city, or... Yeah, I guess we're, we're city. We're not really city city yet. But we're getting there. But if everybody wants to... Um, you know, go around to different parts, you can just go to the hub and it makes life a lot easier. So that's perfect. Awesome. Now we're just waiting for this to fill in. Now, as you can tell, we have those abandoned buildings, but guess what? We're going to have employees coming in to work and it should work out really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till this fills in and I will show you guys the end result. Um, and I'm obviously going to edit it <laughs> using... Um, you know, so you guys don't have to see everything. So while you guys, while I was fast forwarding through some of it, um, we did need some more residential demand, uh, or we had a lot of it. So what I did was I built this little umbrella of residential. I've actually never built one before. I don't think I've ever seen it done in City Skylines, but you know what? I thought this was a pretty cool place to just add a lot of residential and it was, you know, we needed a lot of land and we needed a lot of residential. And as you can tell, we're about to level up. So we will need this residential badly. Um, we are literally about to level up. We're almost at 7,500 and I will show you before we level up. This filled in really nicely. Um, I do know that there's a couple abandoned buildings, but there we go. 7,500, we leveled up, we unlocked another tile. And that should be really helpful. So I just want to show you how this filled in really nicely. This part of town, um, it looks really good. Our school looks fantastic. And, you know, I couldn't be happier with this. The only thing I'm not happy about is our trash. But guess what we just unlocked? We need some incineration power. So we'll have the incinerators going. And uh, as we add more people, add more residential, um, you know, we should easily get, we'll have more people be able to um, work those factory positions. So thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, if you did like this content, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And um, if you don't like it, 
Also, smash that dislike button. I, I won't be offended. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.